Welcome to a brand new campaign for Axis Operations in 1945. Uh, this is going to be a continuation of the group that I started in the Spanish Civil War and worked through these various uh, DLCs. Um, if you watch the historical version of this campaign, you'll note I gave myself three extra points because of uh, what the devs did with the SU-152. They took an ammo point away and made it uh, Turned it to from a viable artillery piece to sort of a, a damage waiting to happen. Because it will run out of rounds. Surely that's uh, what will happen. Which one of these is the correct one? It's surely this one, right? Yeah. So we'll go ahistorical. Um, like you can do some support. Let's say you attack. I think it had overrun as well. So if you attack once and attack twice, you leave yourself with one round and maybe you provide some support fire and then you run out of ammunition and then it's open season on your SU-152. As opposed to like if you fire twice, you have two rounds left, you provide a support fire, you're attacked, you still have one round left and the enemy has to think again about attacking it. At least in my way of thinking, it's, it's like a lot more likely that the thing will get completely worked over badly with only three rounds as opposed to the four at least the way that I play so we're gonna upgrade it to an artillery piece and then we're gonna just pretend we have denied artillery so we'll not take the trade to give us extra points we will take that slow modernization I suppose I could take ruthless ruthless but um, do we need the points I don't know what we do know is we need that I'm going to take this um, as per the historical campaign. Anything with a reduced slot cost, a consolidator, or a special named hero, I'm going to be able to place four heroes. Um, otherwise, it's going to be limited to three. We have um, three selections remaining. We'll take perimeter control. I think this is essentially going to be exactly the same as the uh, historical playthrough. And we'll take anti-air veteran as well. Um, that is a really a, a potent uh, trait for this uh, 45 especially. I find that uh, I don't really need aggressive deployment normally I, in the previous iterations, uh, 44, 43, 42. I, I think I had been taking aggressive deployment. I'm not really sure if I took it in 44 or not. But as of now, most of the stuff is either self-propelled or not really in need of any sort of more providing more counter battery fire perhaps than actual offense and unfortunately I don't think I have a fast deployment for this group although who knows really I, I may um, Operation Puma we need to proceed into this um, forested area and um, take a certain number of victory hexes uh, but we have to take this bonus hex before taking the last victory hex uh, it's fairly straightforward and uh, let's uh, let's get it going we have Avenger oh, that's nice so um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking at uh, for this group do we have um, so we're gonna want to upgrade the upgrade this 152 do you have fast deployment? Would be nice. You don't, though, no. Do we have them? Um, you don't, no. So, let's see, Elsa Claus there. I don't think this group has any overrun heroes either. So, uh, this, uh, this unit here essentially is going to provide support fire only. Uh, but it has uh, a considerable range so even though it can only move one hex before firing it has um, a six range if it gets on a mountain at seven or a hill at seven a mountain eight we'll just leave it at that and, and hope we come across a our fast deployment hero what do we have here anti-tank support and camouflage Orbital winds here. I think these are both with vigilant. And then we have our uh, quite potent air force here with them. 
more than a few double attacks deployed okay um, I usually don't do deployment episodes but I find the 45 is a bit more complicated so we'll do it uh, I'm running a bunch of flame tanks here and a grenadier because he's cheap zero slots with a bunch of these heroes here make him move quite far and he's fairly difficult to displace he has a, a high ground defense of 11 if I were to upgrade him to a pioneer he could get more done offensively but he would be have a, a lower ground defense by one and um, Hmm. I like him as a grenadier. We're going to keep him that way. As we have a plus two ground defense here, I believe. Plus two uh, ground. Uh, hmm. It would theoretically be more advantageous to have him as a pioneer 43, right? Just give up on one, one ground defense, really. And have ignores entrenchment for. No, no, well, not. He's been doing very well for himself, and uh, he's more of a, a blocking zone of control unit than anything else. So we'll leave it at that. We have a 193 of 101, so we need to seriously par our forces down a lot. And Tiger 2, let's see if we have any new. Tanks and such available. We have the Panther. And we have um, nothing much there. The Warble Wind. Sturm Tiger. We, um, we have a Grill 17. It, it doesn't move very fast. It moves one less than the Sturm Tiger, but has a range. It only has artillery support do we have an anti-tank weapon I don't know or anti-tank hero we have one he's probably on this unit he is um, so I like um, the fact that this moves five has a one range it means that I won't be expending ammunition on far away targets and can hold for close in needed defensive uh, maneuvers so do I want a grill that will not offer any hard target protection but can fire at range probably probably so we'll lose her, lose that, we'll take all of those off, and then upgrade, well, let's see, we need to pair our forces before upgrading or it will tell me that it can't be done, I think. It can't be now there, but not, but we can do that. How odd. Okay. We can't do that. I see. I see what my confusion was. I, I thought that uh, you couldn't upgrade these SU-152s, but you can upgrade them to lower slot cost, but not higher. But in a previous playthrough, I tried to make it a Sturm Tiger, and it wouldn't do it. I don't know what's going on there, and I'm not going to worry about finding out exactly what it is either. There's something strange, though. So we're going to uh, put you back in storage. Actually, we're not. We're going to remove the heroes and then put you back in storage. Let's see, Vigilant, Field Repairs, Jag Tiger. That um, Field Repairs, Jag Tiger. It doesn't move very far. Hmm. Maybe we'll put him put him away there we have a lot of force count to lower here let's put him back and then take the zero slots let's see double double 
reduced slots will probably not need that either. So these guys are painted um, flaming blue because they all have plus three air attack. Yeah. And that works. So uh, double attack, right? Double, double, and double from bar. All right. So we can put a couple of these scouts back and then wow we only have a hundred so we'll, this is the no retaliation group from that I've been running for just about ever I think I have seven seven no retaliation heroes and uh, the historical run that was a prudent I had prudent prudent and more prudent no retaliation here as well I think those are all the same. Aggressive counterattack and tenacious defender. We still have more than a few slots to pare down. All right, that's for sure. This Tiger 2 is slow, but it um, tends to get the job done. The problem is it's not vigilant. You are. Ignores entrenchment, rapid fire. And then we have one more we can apply there. I think tank killer there, right? Or butcher would probably be better for this ignores entrenchment. Do we have one? We do. Well, there he goes. How about this is our low tank? Do we have any rapid? We have exactly one, but he's on our unit here the ignores entrenchment Rikugan Rikugan hero so let's uh, remove that and uh, take the zero slot consolidator there and I think we can put um, a consolidator zero slot crippling blow Butcher or Tankular. Tankular. There we go. We'll paint him black. And you. We may as well plop Consolidator on here as well, provided we have the parts. We have 54 low parts. That sounds good. Other than it being a zero, non zero slot, right? That will put a, a crimp in my plan because this thing is 14 slots, even with Panzer General. So let's uh, let's put zero there. He probably doesn't need the consolidator. Does he? Does he? Mm -hmm. How about you? You have the name hero, so we'll put a zero slot there. tank okay so we're gonna get that 152 out out these warble winds there we probably have um, some slack on our fighter planes we'll galand off that and then Probably need a um, first strike here or initiative bonus. We have a couple of first strike. Do we have any? We don't we have no retaliation there and, and no retaliation. These things are going to get shot at, uh, surely, if they go off on their own. So, um,. Do we have any readiness? We have exactly one readiness. I couldn't tell you where he's deployed. Probably here. 
if um, well if it's not deployed there it will be now let's uh, clean out the um, the heroes off these various units What's that? first aid first aid you you These guys have uh, overwhelming attack and scavenger, but I don't think I have the uh, envelopment hero on any of my units as yet. I haven't gotten one ever. So if I ever do get one, I can create a, a surrender machine, but we've been doing fairly well without it, so I'm not worry about it. So let's see, these heroes, there's none. None, 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 none. Okay. So our hero pool is all unassigned, at least. The ones that... Um, these are assigned, but they're, we want them assigned. Okay, so wherever that readiness was, it's, it's here now. And how many first strike do we have? It seems a, bit, a terrible shame to put no retaliation and the first strike on a... So have two first strike that are not being used. Double move here. Do we have an ignores entrenchment? We have one ignores entrenchment and I think he's here on our tank. Rapid fire butcher. I think we have a consolidator, don't we? We do, yeah. So that would probably be better than the butcher, as he'll be able to butcher tanks as well with the rapid fire 1.5 with the five extra units between 15 and 20. All we have to do is come up with the slots. So uh, we'll um, and maybe shelve you or probably can shelve you. Let's put uh, that unit into storage. It's not doing much good, but we're getting there. One of these flame tanks, I think, is going to have to go into storage as well. We're getting close. Hmm. One fighter. Actually, we have zero slots. We have like a bunch of zero slots, which I have as yet to deploy, haven't, don't we, right? So we have a zero. There. So that that worked right there. Which means we can consolidate you. Like so. And the tiger has six rounds. Let's see, the difference between the Tiger 2 and this um, soft is the same, the movement is more, the number of rounds is one less. So relative to multi-purpose slaughter, uh, this thing is presently capable of slaughtering six infantry, entrenched or otherwise, in any given turn, but maybe not so much hard targets. But if we upgrade it to a Panther 2, I think it can delete five targets and be completely out of rounds. So that makes it, I think, more versatile. A Panther G, let's see. We were going to upgrade something else, maybe. And have some TA-400s. Some... That SU, we were going to upgrade that. Oh, look at that, yeah. We want to have one of these... In play, the TA-152H has a greater range and more hard target versatility, I think. So we can upgrade that and have a three-slot gain. 
I have a Barkhorn, fast rebase, double attack. We surely want first strike in this situation or Galan, but I was thinking more like first strike. And we can put Galand. Put him here for more air attack and more initiative. That sounds like a good idea. Put him there. That's. Mm -hmm. So that gives him um, two um, air attack of 14. And we have um, plus two, that's 16 with first strike. He'll survive, he'll survive, and if not, um, we're really deep in uh, tactical bombers. I think I'm trying to work that unit up. I think there are better choices here. This is a three straight down the line. I think this one is close to that as well. And um, this one as well. So if the unit goes, uh, well, it's a good unit, but um, it's replaceable. We'll try to get that air attack raised to level 3, and we'll just run that as, as it exists. So, what do we have? We should um, take care of that 152 issue. The question is what to upgrade it to. We have a Sturm Tiger here, three and a half stars or thereabouts. We have a bunch of artillery. Not really good at being artillery except you. We are deep in anti-tank, so we're going to get this heavily decorated unit that used to be much more viable than it was, but now it only has three rounds. We're going to turn it into an artillery piece. What variety is the only question? I have as yet to tinker around with this thing. What does it do? Um, Four, five, and artillery support only. Provided it sticks close to main battle group, it has a decent ground defense and a, a good range of four. So if it sort of sticks on the rear end of an artillery f grouping, it should be able to do a lot of good really let's do it we'll do that we can even run it as to whether it can keep up with we can't run it apparently we don't have enough uh, well we'll not worry either we have um, looks like nine slots left that's enough for for what really or uh, I think a uh, flame tank we could bring that back out in six slots only if we keep the flame tanks close to our Jag Panther or 21 we should be all right so we'll bring it out we'll bring that out There's probably going to be quite a bit of infantry about or we could bring you along and you'll not have any uh, hard target support. Hmm. Going with the flame tank. We'll bring it out and uh, outfit it uh, in the same manner as the others. I think it was no retaliation. With um, tenacious defender and aggressive deployment or aggressive uh, counterattack. So we should have these guys as torqued out as we can make them. First strike, butcher, exterminator. No retaliate. I see. I see. This is um, not the most hardy unit uh, either here or here. Let's see if we have. We don't have a readiness, but we may have a, a first strike available. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Let's 
Let's see. First strike, indeed. Hit and run. It'll overrun anything it runs into, pretty much, if it's not entrenched, and then you is the same. So first strike is not relevant. Here we have, um, do we have any reduced slots? I think we may. Indeed, we have one, so we probably want to put it We already have that there. Hmm. Tank killer there. So here we have zero. We could also put them. Um, hmm. This flame tank back in reserve and bring out another line tank of sorts and put reduced slots on it. Like you, let's see, Panther A, Panther A, Panther A, and Panther A. 332, 332. Uh, okay, so if we put reduced slots, we should be able to we, pull, we can field you. And why he's painted that way, and must have been special in some way, which he no longer is because the heroes have been changed. So, first strike and lightning attack. So, we'll paint him this color for sort of a lightning look. And that is, uh, is that. We have four points left. We may as well raise the threshold on these recon vehicles because we don't have any sort of prudent or readiness other than on this looks first strike there I think we have an extra first strike we just placed on that and let's see just in case we don't have any so that means uh, no retaliation. We have should have some of those. We do. We can attack and take no damage in return so far as defense goes. Well, we're going to have to keep it very close to uh, uh, support. What about distraction? We don't have any. Uh, we have two distraction, I see. We would theoretically want a distraction on either of these. And we'll paint them a violet. It let's me know that there's a distraction there. I hope no one is distracted by the violet camo color. But so we have this, that, and that. That, uh, that, we have that set with camouflage, so I think this thing should really put some pain into uh, the enemy relative to support fire or counter battery fire because they, they won't know it's there and it'll have um, up to a, an 8 range if it gets on a mountain somewhere. So we have that and that. I think we have um, an extra hero. And uh, learns from mistakes here. So maybe we'll try to put a, a name hero here for the, no other reason than fast learner. <clears throat> so it'll learn uh, faster. And we have one left, and we'll um, place a, a tactical a recon plane out. That, that is that. That's about a half an hour for a deployment. Let's do a one turn in. And then we'll continue in the next episode, maybe two turns. So let's, I think that we just need to deploy. So we'll get you, um, we'll put you in a, here or there. We'll go here, we'll get you there. How are 
artillery will want to roll down the center of the slot here. What there is of it. We'll have a warble wind here. A warble wind up there. We'll have this uh, river. There's no river here, though, but whatever. This uh, jag panther up there. We'll have this. For this forested area, the tracked movement. We can have our recon or overrun tank hero here for uh, this uh, vigilant terrain there. This Panther G, I think, is good for the open country, and if something is not entrenched even in the close, it will probably uh, put some serious hurt into it. This is going to be a guard for our recon, or I mean our artillery piece. Or the two of them. I think we'll have the low tank and and this uh, bruiser here both head down in what, in what looks to be open territory here. And then I will have a standard play here with uh, both of these flame. Panzers heading up uh, adjacent to this uh, Jag Panther and this other overrun ignores entrenchment and try to hose whatever is here. So we have one more recon vehicle to place with distraction. Maybe we'll place it here. And we have, um, I think, a detail of something about having to take over airfields, which is exactly what we need to do. There happens to be one here, and I think that is about the sub was one all the way up here, will not go there. So we're going to go here. So we'll do one, of two, one or two turns and um, carry on. Let's see what's down there. We have no support here at all. So we'll go forward here. We can go there for 18 points. This is not um, vigilant. But if we, uh, let's see, uh, 10 points there. Straight 20. Well, that works. Let's do it. So we can move into the close. And uh, see if we can light up something up here or here. With this other recon vehicle. S1, SU-122, and an 85. Any heroes? Fast entrenchment, tenacious defender, and fierce fighter. Plus one attack for each adjacent enemy unit. How about you? So if this thing tries to fire, you'll get hosed badly by our camouflage 21. So... If we rolled up here, what happens there? We have a Jag Tiger. SU-122 is artillery only, right? It is. This thing... Um, I think we can bombard this with uh, impunity. As to what good that does us... Um, need to? It doesn't look like we do, really. That means we can bombard you and perhaps follow up with more attacks. So 
So we go like that. It's still 13, because we have the aiming assistance. It's just 13 just because. This is a brutal unit. That's why we have a rapid fire consolidator. We'll take care of you. And we can roll up here and then pound you. Let's see about taking seven of seven, I see from the Jag Tiger. Two and seven. Yep. Well, there we have it. There we have it. That strikes me as um, what could be considered problematic, really. Luckily, that's a clear hex, but we don't have any sort of artillery support, vigilant or whatnot. We have this vigilant unit here that can sort of supply this unit. But it's going to take some damage, perhaps. Other than it's not, though. I like that not part. This this thing, theoretically, if it had perimeter control, could go up here and do something to that unit, but it won't. How about you? We can go here. It's clear, right? Yeah, it's, it's clear. We'll go here. That means we can go here. And um, we just have no support for this tank at all. We'll think on that later. Okay, so we can go forward to the close. Which is a poor idea, generally speaking. Or we can... Hmm. can go here. Let's do it. We'll go there. And um, we'll pull back there and go here as well. These units have no support, but they're feisty. They're feisty. So we can go down here with our Panther A or up here into the close where it has no business going at all. We'll go forward here. As for you. And you. Mm -hmm, yeah. This is good. This is ugly, 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 ugly. We've gone the wrong way. What about our warp? I see. It's getting uglier and uglier, really. I think I placed these units in the wrong place. Hmm. I have no support here. It's um. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh. We'll go right here. That's gonna do it for this turn. Let's see what happens. We pounded this uh, 152 there. All is well. All is well. About 40 minutes in, maybe maybe another turn here. Perhaps uh, I say, yeah. Let's see if we get you up there. What happens? Hmm. I'm gonna find out. Nothing. No support at all, nothing, no support. Zero. You, nine. I see, I see. A low tank, um, hmm. Let's head up here. Eight points, I see. Ten points, but we'll take damage. What are you? An SU-100, I see. They're not overly enthusiastic about us taking that airfield, I see. 
but we'll just take a hit here. See about rolling forward. With um hmm. We can't really get adjacent here. How far have you gone already? You have quite a few moves left. We have a 0-9, we'll do it. We've seized a couple of Soviet fighters. We're gonna pop that guy. Finish the job. We're out of rounds. Apparently we're gonna get out of that city, that's for certain. And uh, deploy our planes if we can do it. It looks as though we can. That low tank is not going anywhere. And this guy is, is happy right there, theoretically. He'll probably take a bit of damage. So, um, we can uh, let go here without much doing. We know there's a Jag Tiger there. And we know that we can maybe get up. Was there anything there? I don't think there was. We don't want to take to the close though to find out unless we are a vigilant tank. We're stuck there. I think someone has a shock tactic. The last I checked, you were four strength and completely suppressed, so I don't think anything will happen here except an overrun. And what does that mean? It means we have nine here other than no retaliation, I see. So I'm that Jag Tiger right here is going to put some serious crimp in our style. But our planes are deployed, but it's snowing next turn. So this guy's not going anywhere. If we could just get a visual on that Jag Tiger. Like get right here. We could um, pound it with our 21 centimeter. We would have to be like in the close here and put our camoed man here in hopes that this uh, unit would implode on our close terrain flame panzer 38 and find that we still don't have eyes on the Jag Tiger, but now we do. Now we do. So let's see what he's doing against our Grenadier. Nothing. And next turn, I suspect this Jag Tiger. Now look at that, it's the clear though. That's no problem, it's no problem. We can. Um, this thing will bombard you again because of shock tactics and we won't be able to move our our mighty tank there unless we can completely obliterate that unit which of course we can't maybe we'll pound that you're not camouflaged though you just look like you are oh he is as well good for me so we can roll here as well and um, provide anti-tank support there let's do it let's do it we'll go up there we'll go um, right here as well now hopefully that uh, unit will implode and hopefully our 234-28 rad is not caught out by an enemy armor brigade so we're happy just right here and our lightning attack man can run some interference for this 234 and you should really head down here and turn to anti-tank mode So, 
I like this thing in anti-air mode. It can. Um, we could theoretically go forward here and. Hmm. Two five. Let's see. That's the problem, boys. Um, tract of two. So if we go here, we go one, two, three, four, five, and then we're stuck there. This thing is not going to like that at all. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if something strange happened from this sector as well, so we'll not do it. Okay. I think, um, I think that's everyone. For um, the second turn, we'll just... Maybe um, we can go forward here. Because we like the close terrain. Because we have no idea what's here. Because we want to go there and then back next turn. To do away with that. That's what we want. Yeah, we'll go here. Look at that. We have two more left. If we have two left there, we can go here and then back. And only take two points. So, this seems like a thing. We've done it. And we've moved this, uh, this unit as well. Right adjacent to our grenadier. So we're happy there. We're um, we're happy there. I'm happy. Next turn. He's done it again with impunity, but he's immobilized our Jag Panther. Left our consol yikes, our consolidated. It's an encirclement. We don't have our no supply man. That I was running in the historical campaign, and now, and now it's it's not nearly as grim as it might otherwise be. Because our low tank didn't do much. We're now de encircled. But this guy needs to. Um, we have no support here at all. We have none. We have zero. What we need to do is get here and get this unit there. And unfortunately, get back on our, on our base so our air force is not summarily dispatched. And we were going to call this, well, we'll go three turns in. Three turns. Let's see, zero. I see, I see. What if we were to go forward here? We could get that 152. But we can sort of get the 152 or the Jagpan Tiger. Right now we get both of them. All we need to do is bombard you. Overrun both. We'll get you as we can get you. We can though. We can't. We will. We will. We did that backward, and now we took damage for no reason. We have uh, the ability to attack that unit. We'll overrun him. And there we have it. We've done it. That means that you. And you, I see, I see, who, who are you? A T44-100 there. Hmm. I was thinking of heading down to this area immediately. And perhaps, uh, let's see what we have. We have you, uh, we'll go like that. We'll go um, right here as well. You are a vigilant tank. We'll go on this road. And we have a... We'll turn back to an anti-air uh, mode just because there's no reason why we need to be an anti-tank there because we won't be attacked. We can go here. There's no point. Uh, we'll go here. And you... Um, hmm. 
Better safe than sorry. We'll pull back here. I think that's... Um, we need to heal this guy immediately. Next turn. We've done it. We survived it and we have reinforcements on the way, so the situation I think is resolved. I hope to see you in the next episode.